What's good, y'all? I go by the name of LOCL. Welcome back to another video. I just hit 2,000 subscribers. I'm thankful for all 2,000 of y'all. It's not a lot, but I mean, it's something. It's 2,000 of y'all. They want to hear me speak. They want to get um, a piece of my insight, a piece of my mind. So I appreciate it. Do you need a roster? I don't feel like I need a roster. And I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. Like, do we really need a roster? Like, what's what's really the point in having a roster? It's like, it's like this thing that social media and like society kind of pushed on us as normal. To each his own, but if you anything like me, you don't really believe in it. Like, just for yourself, like, it's like, what do I, I can care less if any of y'all believe me or not, or anybody in my life believes me or not. I don't see the point of it. Like, I don't want to like more than one person at a time. I don't even believe that I really can. Like, I got to get to know this girl. We got to know her favorite color, what she likes, what she don't like, where she from, her age, her birthday, her likes, her dislikes, how to love her. And then I got to do the exact same thing for another girl and another girl and another, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't see the point in that for me. Like, the whole having a roster thing, like, it's, I don't know, man. I, I don't want to do that personally. And I don't see nothing wrong with talking to one person at a time like I feel like if you okay with being alone and you okay with yourself then it won't be hard for you to do that like it won't be hard for you to just do one person at a time and if it don't work out you know maybe you'll be alone for a couple weeks a couple days a couple months like who knows but I feel like everybody is afraid of being alone so they always have like a backup plan just in case it don't work out with this person. It's like, oh, I got two, three, four more, however many, whatever. But when you okay with being alone and you comfortable with yourself, you know, it's not going to really be a foreign thing for you to be alone, you know, if it don't work out with somebody. And like, I feel like when you constantly have a roster, you're like training yourself to like, involve yourself with multiple people and I feel like you more than likely will be somebody that a cheat. You know what I'm saying? Like if you talking to somebody and y'all meet and y'all establish the same kind of mindset when it comes to like the talking stage, then I don't see an issue with being exclusive and just figuring y'all two out at that time. Like the world is funny, like I don't know man, it don't it don't make sense to me to have a roster, man. I'm good on that. Like, uh, I focus on one person at a time. Cause I've, I've done both. Like I remember when I was like a little younger, I used to do the whole roster thing before having a roster was like a popular topic. Like I was just doing it cause I thought that's what I wanted to do, but it turns out I didn't really want to do it. And it was hard for me to connect with one of them because I was so connected to different ones. So I learned this from experience. And now, like, when you focus on one, you know, when you're talking to one girl, the connection feels, from my experience, the connection feels stronger. And, like, my mindset is, like, preparing for what's to come if I were to date her, if she were to date me, if we wanted to date each other. Like, I'm already training myself. Not training myself, but, you know, getting used to the idea of being exclusive with this person. But think about it, if you constantly have a roster, you know, you're constantly going on different dates, sleeping with multiple people if that's what you're doing, or even spending the night, even if you're not even sleeping with them, you kissing them, holding their hand, hugging them, whatever. Like, it's like you get so used to that and, you know, you start dating somebody and that's the, you know, you end up cheating because you so used to having multiple instead of like being used to having just one person. There's nothing uncool about that. I don't care what anybody say. And there's nothing uncool about being a man that wanna do that. Like, I know this world and I know how a lot of people think, but you shouldn't care. People are gonna think you're lame for that. Guys are gonna think you're lame for that, for not having multiple women. But 
I don't care, man. It's for my own sanity. It's for my own peace. It's not nothing I really want to do. It never brought me peace before when I was doing it. And it was always like just too much. You know what I'm saying? It's not even natural to me. I don't know. Even if you feel like it's natural to each his own, you know, that's up to you. But personally, I don't need a roster. Y'all can keep the rosters. Um, I'll do one at a time because what I'm looking for is bigger than just having a roster. I want real bonds with real people, real genuine connections, whether it's friends or a romantic partner. I don't want to waste time on something that's meaningless. So why would I have a roster? You know what I mean? And I communicate well, so whoever I'm talking to, you know, I would communicate that with them. That, you know, I don't feel a need to do that. Like, I can talk to one person at a time. Like, it's no, it's no big deal. Like, I can control myself. I'm disciplined. So it won't be hard to do. And I enjoy it more personally. I enjoy it way more than when I was talking to multiple women, like when I was younger, it was stressful. I gotta call this one, I gotta text that one, I gotta go out with this one, go out with that one, spending gas money to go here, spending gas money to go there with that one, pay for food for that one, pay, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just, it's just a lot and it's unnecessary when I can just focus on one at a time, you know what I mean? And I feel like you have a better chance at a better outcome if you're talking to one person at a time. Because if you're talking to multiple people, I feel like each and every one of them is gonna be hard for like the other one because they're competing, but they don't even know it. And then like, what if they don't even know that you're doing that? I feel like you owe it to somebody um, to know if they're like, if they're investing time and energy into you and attention, I feel like they deserve to know if you're doing that same thing with somebody else. And there's a lot of people that disagree. And I just feel like that's messed up. And that's not like emotionally mature of you to do. You know what I'm saying? To like lie about something like that. When you can just tell the truth, man, people be wanting their cake and eat it too. Like people will want to talk to you. No one they talking to multiple people, but they won't tell you because they know if they tell you, you're going to choose yourself and you're not going to talk to them no more. And then they're not going to be able to have their cake, which is their options, and eat it too, which is you. But you got to see through the BS if that's something that you don't want. So y'all let me know. Like, do y'all believe in having rosters? I don't believe in having a roster. I don't need to. Like, I'm not desperate for, like, multiple women. Like, it is. it don't be that serious. But y'all let me know. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I be seeing the likes and the comments and the subscriptions. But I feel like it's some of y'all that's watching that's not liking, commenting, subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps me keep creating these videos for y'all. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And y'all let me know. Leave a comment, especially if you feel like we should have a roster or not. Like, is that cool? Is that not cool? It's really to each his own. It depends on you. But I'm team no roster. What y'all think?